Hi friends, it's Julia. I am here today to share my Out With The Old and Layout share for my August 2021. Yes, you heard that right, 2021. This kit's been sitting on my shelf for the last year over a year now. Um, I took it with me on retreat in September 2022 to work on and I was able to work and got a big part of it done while I was at the retreat and then finished it off once I got home. So it feels good to have another kit done. Uh, when I started this kit in September um, I had done one layout from it and I think I had taken it last year on a retreat that I went to with my sister and or maybe it was last summer when we went on a retreat I don't remember but I had only done one layout with it and so I put that in the box and then went on my merry way and then worked on other stuff until now so anywho I don't remember what the inspiration kit was I usually have a piece of paper that I put in there with the kit but in getting ready for the uh, retreat that I just got back from um, I, I don't or I think when I got home, I uh, usually will clean and sort things after I get everything packed so that when I come home, my room is nice and clean and I can just put things away. I did it backwards this time. I uh, just got everything packed up and then uh, when I got home, everything stayed packed up until I got my room cleaned up and then I put everything away. And I'm talking deep, di deep dive cleaning um, that you don't normally do. On a, you know, like on a weekly basis. So anywho, I started off with a paper pad by Pink Paisley and it was called Color Wash. Um, and I don't, like I said, I don't remember the inspiration, but I believe it had water, a watercolor or pastel feel to it. And that's why I pulled this one in. Now this one started, the paper pad itself um, originally came with 48 sheets of paper. Um, yes, 48 sheets of paper, and so what I typically do with these paper pads when I buy them is I split them with my sister, so she gets 24, I get 24. So I started off with 24 pieces of paper, and I did add some in. Um, because everything was so watercolor and so pastel filling, I felt like I needed to add in, um, when I was getting towards the end of it, I was getting tired of the watercolor feel and the pastel type feel, and so I added in some bolder colors. Um, I had this green with the dot, and then I had this one from an old Miss Elizabeth that they sold at Dollar Tree probably 20 years ago. Um, and then I did have a few sheets of, of um, Felicity Jane paper in here. Um, and really, other than cardstock, that's really all I added, I think. Um, anywho, so that's what I have left as far as paper goes. There's not a lot of it. A few, these were the, uh, branding strips here, um, that I cut down to do journaling strips. I have some longer border pieces, and then these are the little tiny scraps here, um, that I was using to make banners and such out of, or when I needed just a little bit of paper. I keep all that stuff together. I don't throw any of it away until I make up my mind what I'm going to use. Um, anywho, so I have, there's the cardstock um, that I have in here. And I'm not sure all of this was scraps when I added it in. Some of it may have been um, brought in as scraps, not scraps that I made per se. Uh, I did pull in some of my new Nuvo Mica Mist. Um, and this is what it looks like. This one, I believe, is called Aspen Gold. Uh, it looks very milky in there until you give it a good shake and you get that ball going down in there to mix it up completely. And once you do, you can see it turns into that lovely uh, golden yellow shade. And that mica powder that's in there just spreads out nicely. So there's that. Uh, as far as paper goes, I will sort through this. Some of it will go back into my scrap bin. Others will just go right into the trash. As far as additional letter stickers, now these were not in the kit, but I did pull them in because I needed a tile letter and I needed something that would go either way with silver or gold because I think I had some other accents or something that had either silver or gold feels. Y'all know I add metallics into my... Um, I try to stick with one metallic to add into my 
um, stash each month. Sometimes I add two. Uh, these are the washi tapes that I had pulled into this kit and I think I used most of them but not all of them. Um, what happened when I got home was I put everything, all of my embellishments and everything on this little tray and then as I was cleaning and sorting I picked the tray up and I put it up on top of my uh, shelf to get it out of my way so I could finish cleaning my desk. Did I forget it was there? Yes, I did. Anywho, these are some rub-on alphabets. These are from Making Memories, and they are old. The copyright date on here um, is 2003, and I've probably had them since like 2005 or 2007. I've had them for a really long time. They're not the best, and I think these are probably going to go into my Do Not Want bin because they are difficult. Um, some of them went down very easily with no problems. Others would not lay down for anything and you really had to rub hard and then they split and cracked and just did not turn out well. Uh, as far as stickers and ephemera goes, uh, these are my empty packages. I had this 12-inch um, bling strip and it had, I don't know, six or eight rows across of an opal type bling and I used every bit of that package. Uh, these were uh, sweet succulent cut apart cards and labels from Cheeky Studio which they have gone out of business and then I have a uh, Felicity Jane Elizabeth layered sticker set um, that I finished off. I had two of these sheets and so I had a few, these three pieces left on here, so I just pulled them off and stuck them onto here. So I used quite a few of those in my scrapbooking process. Uh, I used several of the stickers from here. This was a brand new sheet, never used. It's October afternoon. I've had it forever. I don't know what the, uh, when it came out. It's Woodland Park. It's, yeah, it's pretty. This one is October afternoon bookworm, and I still have a few labels on here. Um, this one is Lily B Design Sweet Shop Labels, uh, and I have one, two, three, four, la five labels left on here. Seven, eight. Those will get put back into my stash. I did use a couple labels from here, and I don't remember who those are from. These are, um, what's the name of the company that made these? Little Gypsy? I think Seven Gypsies. I used quite a few from here. Um, and then I used several of the labels from this old Daisy Daisy D's. And then from this sticker sheet, I think I used a couple of phrase stickers from here. Um, I'm getting to a point now where this one is almost at a point where I don't want to use it, pull it out anymore. It's got these big, what do you call it, parentheses uh, marks, and I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I need to go on to Pinterest and see if I can find some inspiration to use those up. Uh, I do have several packs. These two packs of the Teresa Collins labels were not used at all. Um, those will go back into my stash, but I, you know, I'm kind of debating on if I want to keep them or not because the labels are not even. That's probably, I purchased them at Tuesday morning and that's probably why. So I'm not 100% sure I'm going to keep these. I might keep the packs that are already open and then get rid of the packs that are brand new. So I used a couple from each of these, but not like I used one there and a couple from the black, and that's it. Those will go back into my stash. I have more Cheeky Studio here. Uh, these are the, I had a package of just the succulent, like labels um, and flowers, and I actually had two packages of that. These will go back into this package since I only have these few pieces here. This, the other pack that I finished up with these was a partial package I had used before. These are the cut apart labels and I have the circles and the labels and then there's some in there with the banner edge on them. I just got out my punch because there's so much room on these. I got out my punch with the little scalloped edge and I went through there and I cut around those and they turned out super cute. And that's what I have left from those pages. But I have tons more because I love this collection. And so I had uh, several of the flare and then some of the sequins and I used both of those. I only have two of those. I think I started off with four or six there and then these I'm just going to slip these right in here with the other things. So those will go back into my stash because I love those. 
I miss Cheeky Studios. As far as freckled fawn, I pulled in this August um, 2020 kit. The alphabet, I have two sets in here and I used a ton of these. And with that came some uh, chipboard pieces and I only have these three left from here so I'm not going to put this entire sheet back in there for that. I'm probably going to add these to a random set to keep them together there. I had a wood veneer in here that I used up. I have um, these enamel stickers, enamel dots that I used most of them up. I might stick if I leave these together which I think I probably will. I might stick those in there. These are washi stickers. I used almost a full page. I have two and two portions left there and then a full sheet here. And then I have the label stickers that I have um, a ton used, but I still have a ton there as well. So I will keep that together as a kit for now. I did pull in some random embellishments. I have these Freckled Fawn uh, silver label stickers. And I had two sets of them and I had used nearly all up but these three and then I just peeled out that middle section there and put them there. There's some people who will keep this and then cut around the edges to use those but I don't. Um, I will keep those. They will go back into my stash. These are the Felicity Jane Willow washi strips and I had two pieces in here. I had a portion of this one left from this page and then I had a portion here and I have a full piece here and then a portion piece there and then this one is empty. So these will go back into my stash. These Mila labels, I used a couple from here and then a couple from this other sheet but I still have several on there um, that I hope to get used up. I have these Brook puffy shapes. I had hearts down at the bottom. I used them all. I have some dots and some stars left. They will go back into my stash. And then I have uh, two alphabet sets that I had added in. I have this Mila Leatherette and I have this Noel Puffy Alphabet. I've used quite a bit of this one. I'm going to keep it around for a while longer. Um, I still have a few vowels. I have a V that I can turn into an A. I cut all my B's down to make E's. Uh, I do have some O's and A's so and some I's. So I can still make titles with this one. And then this leatherette when I actually had two sets of that and I used up the first sheet and then uh, combined it here um, to um, have plenty of stickers here. And then there's actually two sets left back in here. From here down are numbers and then there's a few letters left up at the top but I think enough to make some alphabets. So these two sets will go back into my stash and these will go into my trash. And then I had these they are uh, Cosmo Cricut and they are Tiny Tech stickers um, in bright colors and so these are copyright date is 2013 so these are quite old as well and I got a ton of use out of those. And then of course my paper pad um, and like I said I you know I used all the paper in there I cut it all down and if you guys don't know already what I consider when I cut, when I kill a kit is when I cut into every single sheet of paper. Um, even if I have a large sheet of paper um, with only a quarter inch cut off of it, I consider the kit killed if I have cut into every piece of paper that I have added in. So from my standpoint, the kit is killed. These pieces will go into the trash um, and I am so happy to have that done. Uh, let me show you the layouts that I created. So uh, this first one is the, the only one that I had done. Um, and you can see uh, I had put it together and put it in my kit and then walked away and left it um, and then came back at a later point and, and created some more layouts. But this one you can see I used the uh, ephemera that I had in. I used washi strips here, here, and um, a sticker down there, chipboard pieces, those puffy stickers, and I used two different fonts to create the title. This one was a sketch from Scrapbook Generation. It was a three photo, one page sketch is where I started with that. And if you guys didn't know, uh, this is Victoria Marie, and this is Tuesday Hubbard. These are the YouTube rock stars in the scrapbooking world, as far as I'm concerned. And one of these days, I wanna grow up and be like them. <laughs> Anywho, so, 
th these are the ones that I started to create on my retreat um, that I went to in September of 2022 and I did not write down the where the inspiration for the sketch came from most of these though are from page map sketches i think there may be one or two that are from scrapbook generation but most of these are from uh, page maps here is this one you can see i used some of the washi strips down here i used those uh, bits of bling i used chipboard i used label stickers and then other stickers plain little uh, labels circle labels that I punched out, um, a sticker here, another one of those um, vinyl leatherette looking sewn pieces, and another chipboard down here. And I hadn't done this in a long time, and I just went around the edges with the Sharpie um, and made it look like some stitching. And I made comment to the girls that I was, uh, the women that I was scrapbooking with, that I channeled my inner Mercy Tierra doing that. Uh, that's where I learned that technique from years ago, and I still use it on occasion. Um, and you can see I cut out a piece from the back to create my border for my photo there. This one is the third layout. And I took the washi strips that I used here and put them on, I want to say it was craft cardstock. Maybe it was white. No, it was craft. Um, I didn't want it to be stark white. And where I had the stark white, I tried to cover it up a little bit because it was pretty bold. Um, anywho, so I put it on the craft paper and then I punched it with my border punch. Used some washi stickers. Uh, there's a sticker there. And I call this one the fixer. Um, and then put the date and who's in the photo. Another sticker, some more puffy stickers and uh, enamel dots. Um, and then uh, back the photos with craft cardstock. So this one is layout number four. Or sorry, this is layout number three. It is not a... Um, two page layout but it is a companion if I wanted to put these next to each other. The colors in the backgrounds match and I pulled some of the same pattern papers over so that it would have a similar feel um, if they went uh, side by side in the album but they may go in different albums. I don't know yet. So there's layout number three and here is layout number four. You can see I fussy cut this a uh, large banner shape. The sketch that I was using had a large banner shape. So I took my washi tape on the back side and just created little um, scallops and then fussy cut those out. And I think it turned out okay. Uh, here's my title here. I used some of those cut apart labels there. Actually used one of those wood veneer rainbows there. Uh, washi tape on cardstock across here. Uh, here's another one of those embellishments I picked up at the retreat um, off the giveaway table. Someone didn't want that and so they put it there and so I of course picked it up and was able to use it here. I did have to cut it down just a wee bit, um, but you can't tell it if you're looking at it. Um, and I did do some stitching on this layout as well. You can see my thread going across the back there. Um, I was channeling Allison Davis there. Uh, again, another layout where I did some scribbles around the edges, uh, channeling Mercy Tierra. This is layout number six with that kit. Uh, and you can see, I used tons of paper, did my journaling right on. I used some chipboard as well as some uh, ephemera bits and pieces. Uh, and then uh, Writing Buddies is the title of this. Again, this could go along with this or it could go along with this. Either way, it all floats together. If I went around this one with a blue pen, um, I, or sorry, a black pen, I think it would be right on. Same here. Um, I could go around that with black ink and, and they would sit next to each other very well. So love that this, uh, I was able to use this. I used a piece of that washi tape on cardstock here. I used the puffy stickers. I used the uh, sequins. Uh, there's a tag there, a label, whatever you want to call it from the ephemera pack. One of those pieces there from the ephemera. Um, a word phrase here and some of that bling across there. This one is layout number six, also from my kit. All of these are, um, with the exception of some of the things that I pulled in. Uh, I started with a couple of different pieces of paper, 
um, a scrap or I, I can't remember if I had already used this one but I did some sti stitching here following consistently with the sketch uh, I was able to use the bling opalescent bling across here and then I used another one of those pieces that I picked up the only thing that I did was cut this down a little bit here but I felt like with the washi tape these colors got pulled in the darkness in the photos uh, kind of counteract some of this darkness in the label and so it worked. Um, use some chipboard, sleeping arrangements is my title, use some washi strips, some enamel dots, had a lot of fun with that and for this one I used that this is the Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray Glossy Acrylic Spray in the color Ancient and it's kind of like a bronzy color, bronzy brown color. It's not terrifically mixed up there so I don't know how well you're going to get to see it there um, but it's very pretty when it goes down on the page and it makes those lovely metallic little splashes of color sorry I can't get them to show up great on the on the camera uh, this is layout number eight with that kit and so again channeling mercy tiara layered up paper and i actually colored on each of those used washi tape used the bling uh, used some of the different embellishments and labels that i had and then used those uh, border strips off the top of the paper pad paper and uh, put it down here on the bottom to create my journaling on this was a simple layout uh, this is one of the ones that I created. This was the first that I created when I thought I couldn't find my tray of embellishments. And so I had a limit on what I could use. So I really was trying to channel, you know, what can I use without my tray of embellishments of all the little fussy bits and pieces. And so this is what I created. I liked it. Um, and it's simple and it's plain and it's okay with me. This is layout number nine. Again, same thing here. I had misplaced my layout tray or my embellishment tray. So the focus is on paper. It's on labels. It's on enamel dots. Uh, I used an asterisk uh, here and here and that is from the letter pack. Um, that was a layered up stamp from a, um, or sorry, an image layered up embellishment from a sticker sheet used a piece of that opalescent bling across the bottom and then i layered up all of these labels down here just to put my journaling and my title on uh, and then i cut my photos down and used a different i think leftover bits from this piece of paper here to back my photos uh, again another one where I had lost my embellishment tray. This is layout number 10. And so I had a piece of paper with all of these hexagonal shapes on it. I don't know. Here we go. This was the paper here. It had all of those hexagonals on there. And so I cut a bunch of them out and they were, some of them were stuck together. Some of them were uh, singles. And so I just, they were small ones and large ones and I just cut them out. A couple of my sticker sheets had some hexagon stickers on there, so I took them here um, and here and put them down with all the bits and pieces. I layered up labels, and then uh, that was from a sticker sheet and more labels, and I used my little bits of uh, bling, and I used some stars from the sheet there. Uh, put my title down here right on top of the photos. Uh, it says, Brothers and Friends Fun Times is my title. More tags over here, labels over here to tuck in. And you can see, I didn't have, I lost my embellishment or my embellishment tray. So I made do with what I had and I created some of my own embellishments, simple embellishments with these hexagonal shapes. And for this one, because I used a different sheet of paper on the inside, I cut out the center, the black sheet here, so that I could border uh, this yellow one here. Um, this is another one that I um, had done without my embellishment tray. So for this one, I pulled out a lot of my word stickers. I pulled out some heart stickers off the embellishment or the sticker sheets that I had. I took a piece of washi and put it on this card stock and just trimmed it down. I took a black scrap and fussy cut it with this uh, border. Um, there's the uh, pink piece there that had that look like wood. I used the enamel dots, more of the words over here. Sorry about that. Uh, so use lots of little word phrases throughout here with the bitty bling, with the puffy stickers. Um, 
use some of the labels in the background here to layer up my title, Girls Having Fun. Again, this was a sticker with the lemon and the white background and I just layered it up on some additional stickers to give it a little extra presence there. I went ahead and used some scrap paper to background my photos um, and used my marker to go around the edge of the paper. And again, this is another one. This is layout number 17. So what does that make? Four now? So this is number four without my embellishment. No, number five without my embellishment tray. Again, I used those hexagons up here that I had previously fussy cut out. Just some scraps of paper, some of the bling going across here, some of the label stickers and more bling. There's a washi tape that I put onto white cardstock in order to fussy cut that. Um, so that it would stand out against the patterns in the background. That was a piece off of a label sheet that I had. Uh, there's some little banner strips from one of the sticker sheets and another label up here. And I just cut it in half and overlapped it so that it wouldn't be as long. It's one of those ones from Teresa Collins. And so finally I found my, my embellishment tray. Uh, so five layouts without my embellishment tray and they were pretty simple but effective and I loved how they turned out. So this one is a single page. Um, I took one of my punches and I punched this up here, put my paper here in the middle and you can see I used those white letters. You may not be able to see. Let me see if I can bring that to the side there. Anyway, there we go. Um, it did not do a terrific job at uh, laying down. Um, here I use the uh, banner labels that I uh, fussy cut from the Cheeky Studios along with a lot of the smaller scrap papers. There's another one of those embellishments that I picked up from the uh, Don't Want table and then these stickers are ones that I picked up from the Don't Want uh, table. This one I had to cut down and these were already cut and on foam. Uh, I did stitching across the top and the bottom and used some washi tape down here at the bottom. I love how this one came out. I used my sequins along here and along here to act as my banner topper, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, this is layout number 14. Uh, this is where I brought in a uh, an additional piece of paper. I was getting tired of looking at the paper and all the pastels. So I brought in this sheet of paper that I cut down. Well, I brought in both of these because I didn't have either of these in here. This paper is from the uh, paper pack that I added in, but these other papers, the background and this yellow one with the floral on it are not. Uh, I added in this piece that I picked up off the do not want table, um, layered up some labels up here, used one of those little tabs here with the date, fussy cut that scalloped border out of one of the uh, Felicity Jane papers that I added in, put some washi tapes there, and put my journaling down here on these pieces of leftover bits and put another embellishment here. So I have enamel dots in all three little clusters there, um, and then added this every day. Blessed every day is my title. This is layout number 15. Um, I was again getting a little bit tired of looking at the same papers. So I pulled in this yellow background and put this, the watercolor paper on top of it. And then I had pulled in this piece of paper and I just used a sliver of it up at the top. From that paper, I just used a little bit of a sliver. Used a border punch to cut out this notebook edge up here at the top um, and put in a, uh, used a stitch circle die to cut out there and then over here and then put the rainbow and some enamel dots and a little puffy sticker up there and this says family time generations of love and i used a lot of little stickers down here i took a, a scrap piece of paper and made a tag and this is a little embellishment that someone passed around they didn't want and so i picked it out of the little bowl that it came around in and it worked perfectly on this with this brilliant uh, bold yellow in the background. It worked great on here. Um, and then I used my uh, washi tape. The blue striped one here is on background cardstock and then the uh, heart one is directly onto the paper and then that's just a border strip down there. Uh, but the heart one is, I double, I double stuck it. I used it I, I put my tape down and then I put a second piece of tape on top of it to make it a little bit bolder. 
and then I pulled this alphabet into uh, the kit because I was tired of the other one and I didn't have enough letters from either of the two larger ones that I added in to make the title. And this one is a two-pager and it is the final one. I actually had, this is layout number 16, so out of 24 sheets of paper from the original kit, um, I've created 16 layouts. Uh, so for this one, I had this sheet of paper left that I cut down into a circle, and then I pulled in the gray background pieces, and then there's a, a piece of that green across there, and then I just used some additional scraps here. I did some sewing right across the middle and then on the corners to create my borders here. I pulled in a different... Uh, font sticker to create my title um, and originally I had this photo as a four by six and then I cut it down and so it left me a gap so I took some stray pieces of paper and some random stickers and just filled that little area in there um, so I fussy cut this out of a journal spot um, and then pop this up on foam adhesive punch this out with my border punch and add tons of sequins this was fun I used my um, strips of paper um, and then I put the title down and then I just went around it with a black marker date location and the event yeah Enid Mississippi Enid Lake um, July 4th 2018 and you can see on those edges I uh, made it real simple same over here I uh, popped up this one um, stuck this one straight down to the paper uh, popped up this one and then popped up these uh, fray stickers over here that I picked up off the do not want um, table so I completed 16 layouts but 17 pages there's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen pages. Uh, 16 layout 17 pages out of 24 sheets of paper so I'm very happy to have killed this kit um, I'll try and get some photos connected to the end of the video so if you're interested um, some of the none of these will have a process video showing you what I pulled in because I made uh, most of them at home I made part of them at the retreat and then the rest I made at home without the video running um, sorry guys I just I couldn't bring myself to do it I just wanted to get these kicked out Anyway, I appreciate you being here, and I would love it if you would flip me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to do that, especially if you are interested in seeing layouts made from product that comes from your stash. Mixing a little bit of old, or a lot of old, in with a little bit of new, um, so that you create unique layouts uh, that are timeless um, and you can look back through them at them through the years and you can't distinguish when you made them Anyway guys, I appreciate you for being here and uh, thank you very much and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day everyone. Bye. Bye